Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Guest episode, as always, this week before we launch into it. First of all, I've got to say very excited about this Friday night. We are doing the Waterfront Hall, Tea With Me, live, it's sold out, thanks to everybody who's bought a ticket. And this is just mad that we are doing this podcast in the Waterfront Hall, because it was a time where even doing stand-up in there would have been inconceivable. And now we're doing it with what I always consider the Wee Podcast, which obviously isn't um the first time we did limelight we i was i was like ah, i don't know you know and that was 120 people or something like that so i'm absolutely buzzing for this i hope i had a good time because it's in the past now but not when this comes out what it was out on wednesday it goes on wednesday so it's in the future and it's in the future anyway when i recorded this anyway we look forward to it we'll see you there we are sponsored by a couple of crazy guys before we start this. First of all, Nord VPN. Apparently, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and not Vulnerable People's Needs. It's a service to protect your internet connection and privacy online. I'm talking about the World Wide Web, www. It creates an encrypted tunnel for your data, and you guys know I love tunnels. It protects your online identity. It hides your IP address. Where's your IP address? I can't see it because I'm protected by NordVPN. And it allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. Because you put you put yourself in there, you don't know what you're getting. It's easy to use. You can connect with one click or enable auto-connected for zero-click protection. It's fast. It's the fastest VPN out there, in fact. It's the fastest kid alive. You can use it on every major platform. Windows, yes. Android, yes. iOS, the list goes on and on. You can access it from anywhere. Don't miss your favourite content from home when you're travelling abroad. What if you're all homesick? What if you're in Mozambique and you want to watch Give My Head Peace? NordVPN, I've got you covered. That's their main thing. Uh, it just takes one click. You open the map, you click on a location and you can pretend to be from there and it's content. It's that easy. They encrypt all your traffic. Your internet service provider can't slow you down or your streaming speed. You can get an exclusive, whoa, NordVPN deal by going to https dot dot slash slash nordvpn dot com slash tea with me. We put all this info in the description. You get a huge discount off your NordVPN plus free threat protection and an additional month for free. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. And basically, if you don't know what that is, it's 30 days where you can get your money back and they guarantee it. Whoa, let me shake my brain. We are also sponsored by the delicious folks over at Manscaped. Manscaped is, if you don't know by now and you'll know because we've been with this guy since pussy was a kitten, the ma- the number one in men's below the belt grooming products for your man pussy. Can you say that? Just about. You know these guys have all the tools for your family jewels and you don't need to worry about cutting your sack. You know, if you want to cut your sack, try a different product because these guys aren't having it. They, they, they made this thing up in labs so you know it's good the manscaped labs don't get me wrong this isn't just a fella who's just decided to start it there's over probably 500 people working at manscaped devising all these products like the lawnmower 4.0 anti-snag technology my favorite who who's coming over your anti-snag technology oh i like her she's my favorite she brings me presents like not getting my bag cut Ball cleanser, ball deodorant, ball wipes, cologne. They've got it. What else, Dan? Weed whacker. Weed whacker. For your, uh, I was going to say your eyes. Don't use it in your eyes. For your nose hair and your ear hair. Now, I, well, I, I didn't think I had a problem there. And then I used this stuff and I went, oh my God, I haven't smelled since 1997. What can I smell? Cost 11 crisis. And it doesn't smell good. But these products are unbelievable. I implore you to go to go to https dot dot slash slash www World Wide Web dot Manscape dot com. Use the code T with me for twenty percent off and free shipping. Speaking of weed whacking, you can't weed whack that. That's a deal. Go over and check that out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hyped. Let me also tell you about our. 
Patreon. Patreon.com slash Tea With Me Podcast. Join the revolution, the tea revolution. We're a group of people that don't just think we're mad going out pints and all and shots and all. Tea. We have a nice cup of tea. We watch a nice podcast. We have a good time. We're on that tea train heading towards 2,000 patrons. Join us. You get a, a live stream episode on a Friday. You get what I've just called the special brew, which is me doing a wee personal podcast on Mondays. You get exclusive gigs, gig news. You get... Links to like the merchandise, like this here, the Tea With Me t-shirt. Beautiful. Start David Peckham over here. Start wearing those. Buy yourself some of that. My guest this week is a man whose weeds are whacked and then some. Let me tell you, this guy, they call him Colin Geddes. The general himself. General banter. This guy has been around since since pussy was a kitten. I've been gigging with this guy for 37 years. All right, we've been through it all. He is one of the best to do it, and he's still doing it, and he's going to keep doing it. You know him. You love him. He's been on the pod before. He's doing the SSE in October. I implore you, go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's episode, what episode, Dan? Too slow. Whack your weeds. 178. I asked Dan. Check it out, the Tea With Me episode, me, she and Todd, him, Colin Geddes. Enjoy it. Colin Geddes? Am I, am I saying that right? <laughs> I yep, we're in. That was quick, I thought you were doing some sort of intro. No, right. no, no. Do you have a middle name? William. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Colin William Geddes. Aye. Colin William Geddes sounds like, you know the kind of soaps you get around Christmas? But but like the cheaper ones, like Bayless and Harding? It sounds like a, like an ex-criminal started a clothing label. Colin William Geddes. With two nice polo shirts, Colin William Geddes. C W G on the on the on there, and then one on sort the sleeve of, and all. Sort of close you up. You get a beer when you walk into. It. I'm always uncomfortable oh, with that. Absolutely. Have you ever taken one like in a barber's or anything like that? No, but sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave. <laughs> from I'm from on a pub crawl, I'll just dip in the barbers. Hey lads, cause of cause of warm Carlsberg. Do you think? Nah. I'm all good. My dad was telling me the place he goes, they'll offer you like a full whiskey or anything. Surely that devalues the hurt, you know. They make way less money. Is it like a case? bit of a diversion? The guy's just Maybe. scalping you and he's <laughs> like, sure, take an R one. <laughs> dad is taking an R. Your dad's chin. <laughs> Looks like he's been fucking <laughs> been in Home Alone, yeah, burnt half his hair off. <laughs> <laughs> I got offered a, a drink in a jeweler's in Edinburgh. Because it was, I went to, I like, uh, hold on, you by yourself? Yeah. Were you, what were you looking for, bespoke pieces? I was looking at watches, you fucking oh, All right. <laughs> but I, just, I was waiting on a, you know when you go to someone and you're like, can we get a table for four? And they're like, it's going to be half an hour or something. Yeah. And I was just, you know, hanging about and I went right. into this jeweler's and they're like, um, I was like, is there watches in here? And they're like, oh, it's the full showroom upstairs. Uh, we're just waiting on someone to show you around. And I was like, just let me. Yeah. Just let me walk. I'm in, like a, by far the trampiest guy in the shop. Like. Right. I was like, let me look. And they were just waiting for one of our seals team at the minute. And then this guy comes over and he's like, would you like a glass of champagne or anything? Yeah. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do, stand here in shorts, yeah. drinking champagne, <laughs> looking at watches that I'll never buy? See, the difference in me and you buying watches is I wait till you have a watch you don't want. Yeah. And then that's when I get a watch. Yeah. My last is sharing watches My last month. two watches have, have come from you. You were at the Fringe. Uh, in a word? Was that it? That was in, the word? In a word. Uh, it was grand. Yeah, you'd have hated it. Like I know, I know you've had experience before. But was it dirty? It was dirty. Shane, there was a, <laughs> there was a bin strike on, so the whole city no. smelled like <laughs> fucking. If they, if you told death. me, I, if you told me I had a sold out run, and you were like, it's the best venue in Edinburgh. It's all this. As soon as I hear bin strike, nope. Canceled. We were in the hive as well. Which have you ever been in there? Just yeah. walked in. It's like the basement of a fucking castle. So it's like little stone caves, and they're all like yeah. like this, like an arch, and. Uh, it's obviously a bit of a grimy dump anyway. Yeah. But like, it's hive till five, so it's a nightclub, and then it reopens again at like 11. And you would go in, and we, we had to go on stage through this wee tiny tunnel, and the wee tiny tunnel just always had like two inches of something. Stuff in it? Yeah. Like, I didn't know. And it, it, it sort of seesawed between like, it's a bit more like piss today, or like it's a bit more like bleach, or it's yeah. like fully vomit. Right. And depending on the heat, you'd be like, just standing in the wee tunnel, like, Ugh. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it. And then McCann's there too. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> just, <laughs> fucking, just, just fucking, end tunnels. <laughs> just in, just us two Squint and Karen arrived. That was like a fucking just mashed into this wee tunnel. Like, if you like, shout someone on stage, it would take them like fucking eight minutes to fucking squeeze past each other. But it, all in all, it was great. But the bin strike, you wouldn't like that. No, 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 I hate that. Especially our that Nedry street Nedry or whatever. Street. Yep. Just you turned the corner and it was like fucking the, the wall of stench yeah. hit you. See, that's the thing. Let them rather go. You have all that and it's there's mice and there's rats all over it. And yeah. then they go and then they go. But it's historic. That masks a lot of the fact it's just stinking. Well, that's it. It's Along a medieval the- shithole. But we the, the, the first. <laughs> I feel, that's how they market it. <laughs> but like the I remember going years ago to the fringe and like in our in our apartment, I was like, there's, there's definitely mice in here, and I complained the. Big Ray who booked it, yeah, and he was like, "Only mice, yeah, <laughs> you lucky bastard." <laughs> do you do you know about the time I uh, just left the apartment? You know about the mouse in my head? No, were you there that friend? No, maybe There's you a mental weren't. disorder. There's <laughs> I've got all these mice in my head, mate. I just can't settle at night time. That's what Colin William Geddes says when you sit down in the shop. Yeah. To, to, How you doing? Deliver quarter zips. I don't know, mate. These mice in my head. <laughs> Losing the run of myself here. <laughs> I go into uh, I've been eating fucking rat poison and all. Speaking of that, boys, did I tell you about the time once I was in a supplement shop in Belfast and there was a guy in front of me just out of McAlbury, as in like he said to the guy serving him, just out of McAlbury, and he was looking at a supplement and he goes, I put on a load of weight, I'm looking to just strip it all off and he goes, and he had some pills in his hand and he goes, and I just thought, you know sometimes we oversee interactions and you go, Shane would appreciate that and I go, Colin would appreciate yeah, this. Yeah. He goes, maybe I told you about this time. He held these tablets up and he goes, well, let's help me, well, let's help me strip away. And the guy serving him goes, you'll shed it off. <laughs> <laughs> was it the I, supplement I shop? Put, like I, NI subs? I don't know. I put down whatever I was going to buy and left. It was near Corn Market. That's where it was. Oh, right. No, definitely. Uh, no, I, I don't think this guy had a license or knew what he was talking about. You'll shed it off. I know. I was in a... I showed him Baracus. You'll a, shed it off. <laughs> you'll shed it off. <laughs> I was in a supplement shop once and there was a fella, or like an older... Like he looked about 45, 50 or something like that with his son who was like a young teenager and he's just a wee fucking weed and he was just like, he's looking to bulk up here and all and the guy working there is just yoked out. He was just like, <laughs> he was just like, what are you eating? You know, what are you eating? Because, you, you know, it start there and he's telling the guy like what this fucking 13 year old should be eating. He's been two sirloins in the morning, nine eggs and a kilo of porridge. Can you handle that? And he's like, I said, no. Just wanted a powder. I'm getting bullied. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm at the fringe, staying in an apartment with uh, Sean Hegarty and Tom O'Mahony and Tom's girlfriend at the time, now wife, Natasha. Just before we go... No wonder you left. And we're like, we're skint at that point, right? Con goes, uh, or Sean goes, see to save money. Now, it's probably costing us like £300 for the month. Yeah. He goes, see to save money. She wait, thank you for that brand. Eat the mice. Brand awareness. He goes... I, I'm going to get somebody else in. Now, bear in mind, me and Sean were sharing a living room. And he goes, I'll get somebody else in through the living room. Got a 50-year-old magician called Wes. Do you ever meet Wes from New Zealand? Oh, my God. This guy couldn't... Imagine imagine. me going like this. Um, (laughs) You don't know Wes? Did I ever meet a Kiwi magician? As part of his shtick, he was like 50, he used loads of toilet rolls Mm -hmm. to give himself a bit of privacy in the living room. We were living in with him. He made a wall of toilet rolls and he lived behind that. It's hundred percent true. Wes couldn't magic himself a bath. This guy was disgusting. Yeah. And um, I said halfway through it, I was like, "I'm going to move into the kitchen. I'm going to relocate, and I'll live in there." And the kitchen was like long enough just for my body. Okay, that's really it—the floor of it. So I I put down a blanket and had a wee sleeping bag on top of me. I was like, "It's actually dead on." And remember, Lauren Carey used to do stand up. Yeah, Lauren came to Dallas for a few days. She Shane Fein or something there. Uh, I think it was UUP but I don't know if you transfer like footballers oh, yeah. <laughs> she's gone on loan to Sinn Féin <laughs> away to the green party on a boss man uh, um, <laughs> so <laughs> so um, yeah I'm in the kitchen then she stayed with us a couple of nights and one night she texted me at like 6 in the morning was like I'm in McDonald's and I texted her was like oh, everything okay she's like there's too many mice in the room I went in to see Too many. if you could do something about the mice. By the way, what am I going to do about mice? Yeah, said when I walked, <laughs> said when I walked into the kitchen where you were sleeping, there was a mouse just on your head while oh you were asleep. Days. And then I just left that apart. I never went back. Never went back. It was just Sean and that magician. Oh my god! Uh, stinking. You would have fucking. You need therapy after that. Do you think Belfast could have a comedy festival? Like a good 
couple of days. Oh, we could have a couple of days, all right. Different venues. You think it will work? Yeah, I was thinking about something a bit like that next year. Yeah. But like in, in sort of venues, yeah, not like in a park somewhere. No. No, that'd be shit. Because that would turn to shit. Like, yeah, it'd be like Woodstock. Yeah, it'd be, yeah Woodstock 99, yeah. yeah. But, like but, it, but it would turn up. But it's not mad, it's just some guy outside outside the gardens going, fuck up, every yeah. two minutes. <laughs> and that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> just setting fire to portally. A festival would be clap. By the way, Woodstock, yeah. I've said it before, I said it again, I left after half an hour. You see, I got all these reports that, you know, you got to watch that and all it's absolutely wild. And I watched it and I was like, this is lit. You liked it? Oh, yeah, bro. No. Fred Durst. I'd have liked it from like a wee van- from a vantage point from like a hill in the distance. Oh yeah, I'd well, have twenty it. years later in a documentary. <laughs> yeah. that's, what, that's, what, that's probably why I enjoyed it. Like even then, I was straight into the bath. <laughs> 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 I had you know a bath tray. I had the iPad like oh, that yeah. watching it. <laughs> Just kept scrubbing every time. Do you have a bath tray in your house? <laughs> yes. I forgot all about those. Do you? All I have. Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. You don't have a bath tray. Do you have a bath? You look like I love a bath, but wouldn't tell I do people. Do like about a bath, it. but look at me like. I have to get in like sideways like this. <laughs> yeah. I was telling someone that. Who was I talking to yesterday? We were talking about, uh, oh, I, the, I was fucking McCartney and all. He's like, oh, I couldn't sleep and all. I'll take a night, night hall and all this shit. And I was like, and I think it's banned now, but like night nurse. I night took, nurse. Is that what the ad went? Yeah. Really? Unless, if I've made that up. I do need to, That's a mix in my head. That's a mix in my head. That's how the ad went. Nine It was like a Jamaican guy or UB40, maybe the guy from UB40. What's the song you're, what's the the melody you're using there? That's yeah, just this, right? Nine <laughs> But that's from a song because now it's killing me. You're gonna have to Google that, that's going. Nine nurse. Yeah. Like, that was around the time when white, when white guys could do reggae. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they still do. Sean Paul's white as fuck. Shaggy's not far off. Sean Paul's not white, is he? Your man that I used to listen to, that fucking what's his name? M dot artist. He he's the man too. Walk one with the magic. Snow, remember him? In fine me. Oh yeah. I like you bum bum now. I but they're like white guys that join ISIS. They're more hardcore yeah. than the fucking normal guys. Yeah, there you can do options. You join ISIS or you get into the reggae scene. Do any of you find out any more about that? Just a song called Nightmares. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. No, no, no. But well, it's not by UB forty. Chris, Chris Goldfinger, Goldfinger? Gregory, Isaac. Hi, yeah. Gregory Isaac Gregory Isaac love that but anyway sorry no I just remember take a, I had the flu when I was younger and I, someone was like get a wee hot bath and all and I yeah. took two shots it was like luminous green you fucking took right. two shots of this shit and then it, me, it was like Wolf of Wall Street trying to get out of the bath right. I was like, <laughs> like ah, flopped onto the floor good I'm, shit it's banned I think I, I could see you really liking a bath uh, yeah of course but do you feel you ever feel vulnerable in a bath because no. I think you really sink into it. You have your what, eyes closed. Vulnerable? Huh? What's vu- uh, not vulnerable at all? Just that, you know, if someone broke into your house, it would be, be a terrible way for someone to see It's way scarier to burst into my house, <laughs> think you're robbing the place, and I come out soaking wet. <laughs> like all fucking Austin Powers, chest hairs, dripping Internet, down. You know one of I'm like, plastic? what the fuck are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. You have a plastic. Long bag. Yeah. Long bath bag. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm fucking nunchucking. <laughs> you wanna go, do you? Slipping on the tiles and all, trying to get at them. Like when a dog goes for something. You ever, uh, you go loofah? You ever go loofah? No. No? No. I feel like, a, like if, it's gross, isn't it? Or what, why would it shed your skin or something? It was just, I feel like I'd need a new loofah every bath. But then when do you ever wash your back? The water gets it, bro. Hmm. I know, I, I'm, I'm saying that, I've never washed my back. Do you or, wash your or legs? legs? I don't wash my legs. Nah. I do sometimes, but when I bend, but when I bend down, I get all nervous. Hi, that's when you're vulnerable. When your fucking cheeks hit the glass. I spend about an hour on them. I hope nobody breaks in. Um, yeah, it's like one of those uh, manly things. You have to lift your leg to your hand. You can't be bending down. You have to wash your leg. Like. <laughs> when was the last time you got in between your toes with some soap? Oh fuck Just me! Just lifted them up about. and got in there. I just walk around the back garden in the grass, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. full liver king on it. <laughs> what, uh, barefoot? Like Joss Stone? Oh, yeah. Remember her? She was, Weird she reference. was really good. Yeah, she was great. Google her one song. <laughs> <laughs> Nine <Nine-ness. laughs> uh, Joss Stone. I had a bath for the first time in, ye- in years, uh, about a week ago, mm. and it was lovely. Mm. Really nice. It's the admin of it I don't like. This? Running it. 
all that yeah but getting the temperature i'm so bad with the temperature now here's the trick bro you get in you, you do like a little lukewarm base and then you set your arse in it and then you f it's like cooking a lobster you slowly introduce the roast in hot water so if you you'll get into you'll it, get in as the water starts running and let the water come up no i'll, I'll almost run myself like you know about a few inches of water right and sit in it then slowly oh. taper off the cold and then your body gets used to the boiling hot water but then if you want the bubbles you got to get the water hot from the start do you do bubbles? Yeah, but it works. Like, are you so serious about that? It works. Fuck it, yeah, to fucking do bubbles, yeah. yeah. Why, who said I don't do bubbles? Fuck around do bubbles. Me and I? them in there. Up your hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> We're in a fucking jacuzzi. The sailor one with the big hat. Um, <laughs> Mary? Yeah. It's good, it's good to get that. Mary was unreal. Did you get a bath on a Sunday night before school? No, I would take, ca I would take like, sport baths, you know what I mean? I'd take, what? like, I'd just be like, I'm waiting for a you bath. You bath? I'd just chill in the bath, like. Right. It was never really to get washed. Right. I was getting washed anyway. Yeah. Two birds, one stone. See, I never became a shower guy until probably the early noughties. You don't look like a guy needs the shower ever. No. No. <laughs> Play a f football match, it's going to be squeegee. Yeah. I remember uh, going to the pavilion to do stand-up once straight after playing football, but just throwing clothes on me and doing a gig and went, for some reason I announced it. I was like, oh, I've just come from literally playing football. I must have had a wee bit about it. And I got in the front row, no facial expression, drunk, went, that's a smell of shite then. And I was like, oh, thank you. Nice. Long hair, my feet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> joining uh, <laughs> joining Labour on a free transfer. Um, I'm running out of those. Um, what do you think is something that, and this is something I'm asking people a lot recently because I'm figuring out these about myself. What's something you think people should care about and you think as a society, as a people, oh, you should care about that, but actually, in the back of your head, you're going, I, I don't care. For example... Like there's no waste shop up the town here? And Like that, like waste, the environment. That is that the most Hollywood... So what is it? I don't really know about it. And they didn't ask my permission I've to come here. I've seen one before. It's like one of these... <clears throat> like we have zero waste so you bring your own shit you bring your own boxes and your own Tupperware and all and you're like let me get a fucking half a kilo of cashews and you get it out of the machine and there's no packaging right or any of that shit but that's some like you know my husband's in uh, Abu Dhabi working and uh, I need to kill the time somehow right and they haven't they haven't asked me to come here yet like that's a I mean? job that's a, that's a real morning filler right I have to get my Tupperware and go down and get the fucking chia seeds yeah and then after that, I'm meeting. You know what I mean? It's like who the. Fuck I look like a guy though, but to be fair, if that's going to work anywhere, it's going to well, work. Well, that's insane. You could see me churning my own, my own almond butter. I mean, like trying to park. Yeah. Forty five minutes, and then one point. Go to the one point car park. Four hours. One point car park. Two of them. I know, but they're all fighting each other in there and all. Huh? Oh, for space. Yeah. <laughs> Is that underground? I mean, it's a whole. That's a whole morning for someone. Yeah, but you can park in our car park here. Yeah, I'll remember that. You did. Um. SSE, uh, October. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you this: Has your rider changed over time? Because we have lamented before that when you're a local comedian from here and you're doing a gig here, no matter how big of a scale, in fact you can't go bigger. You don't. I imagine if you do shows in like London, New yeah. York, the Middle East, mm -hmm. whatever you whatever you want, mm -hmm. it's no trouble. I imagine there's too much stuff to the point where you're embarrassed here. To get a bottle of water, still, still water, is is a is a war. It's a civil war. Yeah, sure. That that happened to me last time. Yeah, I walked in. I was like, "Could we get some water?" There was some. There's beer and it's all. A human there. right. I was like, "Can I get some water?" And someone went to the shop, like the the little confectionery dispatcher, tuck shop. and uh, the tuck shop, and tried to, uh, and realized the water was too dear, and came back and was like, "We're not getting it out of there." And I jokingly went, "I suppose you're sending someone like to like a Tesco's spot. to get it or something." They're like, "Yeah." Right. So they sent someone out to buy water instead of buying it at the shop. <laughs> in the venue. In the venue. Yeah. Three and a half thousand people. Like the... the, the, the Peeing down the fucking road. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hundreds of security. <laughs> techs. Staff everywhere. All working. All getting paid. Can I get a water out of the shop? Well. We'll make a note of that. In 58 minutes you can. In 58 minutes. It, it's a... Uh, it's it's. We sent me a mouthful of night nurse waiting. The, be <laughs> <laughs> the best. Up. Here's the best thing about doing gigs in the country, even if it's like 20, 30 people. When the owner of the bar goes, "What do you want here?" Oh yeah, and it's just open for it's. He, he goes and opens it. Yeah, you want to take that with you? 
I don't want to roast dinner. You're going on yeah. ten. Do you want that? <laughs> yeah. He just puts it, you know, puts it in the wee bag. I, nothing's too much trouble when you go out of Belfast. They're glad to see it. Whatever yeah. you want, they're glad you get to, it. They're glad to see it. I did in the last week. It was lovely. What venue? Pat's Bar, the one you did. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Class. It's great. Class. We bit like dailies in that. You might look at it or walk into it and go, Jesus could be a bit rowdy or whatever. Maybe I'll not do the material. Maybe it's going to be a bit of crowd work. Mm-hmm. The, ni- the nice, like the most attentive audience. Yeah, it was great. A lot Real of good. young lads. Yeah. That mine. You, you like it? I, mean? uh, I don't dislike it. Yeah. Do you know what I, I like mean? it? But like a lot, you know, like a f- it was like a full football <laughs> team just in the front <laughs> row, all these young lads. Could have been. You know they're young when they just leave, they leave the house with no jacket. Yeah. Well, no. Just lads I, I think that's... I, well... One or two ways, no t-shirts, but I think kids these days are just always wearing coats, tracksuit bottoms. Well, fellas dress like shit now. Right, yeah. Not that I'm on the talk, but like, girls will still dress up a bit, and then fellas are like, I saw a guy in Liverpool, and he was uh, walking along with this girl who was holding a coat above her head because it was raining, which meant their whole dress came up and her full arse was out walking down the street. And I was like, am I even allowed to look at this? <laughs> and they're, going, they're getting into a queue at a nightclub. The fellas wearing sweatpants, Crocs, and a white t-shirt and a wee chain. Like, I was just going to fucking club gear. Like, Is it Aaron Butler? Probably. <laughs> the white Crocs thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Psychopath. Tony is for white Crocs. <laughs> my, my evening last night at Lavery's was demented. Why? Well, for, you know, you get the one of those nights where the front row's insane. Yes. And I was talking about hall passes. You know, like, if you have you and your partner have a hall pass as a joke. And then I said this week, do you know what a hall pass is? She goes, yes. And I was like, do you have one? She goes, yes. And I'd asked her already. I was like, what age are you? 22. And I was like, who's your hall pass? She goes, Jimmy Nesbitt. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing. And I, li- I literally no. said, I was like, don't waste the pass on Nesbitt. I was like, a few texts, he'd probably be here. <laughs> Fucking clap them cheeks for free. Hang on to the pass. Till what you Chris she, Hemsworth. Like 22? She goes, yeah, like, it's a wee girl. Watching cold feet reruns, like, oh, and then fuck. someone get someone get hit. <laughs> no, no, no. Just oh, that, yeah, <laughs> that that Nesbitt face, you fucking <laughs> eyebrows coming off his head. He was fucking bald as shit, bro. And now he's got like full head of hair. Watching those yell ads, like, oh Jesus, do me! Oh my God! <laughs> Could give you a fucking what fucking detective are you this week? <laughs> 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 Solve the case of this man eating a leg of me. <laughs> there should, I, I joked before, it should be just a show called Nesbitt. And he yeah. just turns up and he's like, what department do you want me in this week? <laughs> Which one of my children have died? <laughs> Fuck. I watch everything, by the way. I'm not slagging. Oh, I watch I mean, absolutely every I mean, drop of the it. The guy literally couldn't be a better actor. He's tremendous. He walks into the thing to go, we're looking, it's this accent, the guy's from here. Of, uh, and Nesbitt goes, he's not. I'll tell you where he's from, where I'm from. And that's what he does. Yeah. Brilliant in everything he's in. Fucking brilliant. It's great. It's great. Especially that wee girl's... No, it's never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Nesbitt. Jimmy Nesbitt. The Nesbitt. There was a guy fucking hit on a bike outside Lavery's. Right. And uh, Sean was all making jokes part on of the stage. It was Sean? Yeah, he, br- he did a joke yeah. about it. It was great because everybody's seen it in the queue. Right. But he was all right. The guy was, they were telling him to land. Hey, right. <laughs> dead. Telling him to land the floor, but he was texting them all. Right. <laughs> right. So he was okay. And then I left and uh, I fucking, yeah, just a weird series of events. I walk around to get the car and there's two Chinese people trying to push their car. And a guy in like a, just like a, just a fucking guy from here. Right. In the car, trying to fucking like jump start or what's the word bump start? Bump, bump, bump start, start it. Yeah. You give them a hand. He goes, mate, there's a hand here because there's two small Chinese people pushing this car, and he just he, he did a quick he did a quick glance around. He was like, here, fucking you big fat cunt here, and then he goes, give us a hand here, and I'm pushing and we're pushing it back up the hill, and I was like, where are you going? Where are you going with this? And then he goes, we're gonna go up here and then push it down. <laughs> So we go back and then go round the car and then I start pushing it forward and then he's starting to fucking, you know, do whatever yeah, he's doing, yeah. which makes the car jolt a wee bit. Yeah. So the wee Chinese people are like running into the back of the car and the car's full of dolls, you know what I mean? So Asian, bro. So oh. it's just full of like fucking wee dolls with big heads. And then uh, and then he's like, we're going to have to fucking go. And then some other girl was like, I have jump leads here. And the guy goes, do you? That's great. <laughs> and she goes, I don't know how to use them. Can you use them? And he's like, Aye. And then I'm like, You're, I was like, You're gonna have to turn and come back. Yeah. So that the bonnets are facing, you know what I mean? So it reaches. And I was like, We'll push it over there. So he gets out of the car. The, the Chinese girl gets back in. We're pushing it back. And like, she's not great at driving back into the space, you know what I mean? 
And uh, I was like, where are you going? I was like, pull her fucking full lock, sir. Get it in there. And then we push it over and the girl's turning to bring up the thing and uh, she parks in front and all. And I was like, he's all right, no, he's good. Just get the get the jump leads on. And he goes, oh, cheers, mate. Are you gigging the night and all, were you? <laughs> gigging the night. I was like, why didn't, you know. Yeah. I thought we were just dealing with a random here. I swear to God, I'll show you, I'll show you the video. Some girl, <laughs> some girl was in, had come out of lavery. I think she came out of lavery and got into her car. Was, oh, there's no, hold on. She was fucking, like, filming uh, out of her car, pissing herself, laughing at me, pushing this fucking <laughs> You look like you started cool runnings. And then, and then, <laughs> and then fucking... <laughs> Hold on. Is that not is that not the 2023 reboot? Um, They're Chinese. He's from here. Uh, For fuck's sake! Yeah. We're going to the Olympics. Big man's doing all the pushing. Baltic Romans. Oh Jesus! And then I was saying to you, like in a, in a bed, did not be a fat cunt because I was starving. And then I went to the shop <laughs> and I got myself. We got like a wee packet of pastrami and like wee baps. And I'm sitting in the car. This is when I knew I had to change the car, making a wee bap. <laughs> and this crazy woman comes over and like knocks the window and I put it, you know you put it down about that much. Yeah. And she's like. Are you a taxi? Are you a taxi? Are you a taxi? Yeah. Sad man eating a sandwich <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night in an estate car. And I was like, I'm not. And, she, and then she was like, what does that say? And showed me like a message from a taxi company. And I was like, it says it's been confirmed. Is it coming? And I'm like, <laughs> maybe they'll send you a follow up like when it's on its way. Okay, the last one ditched me here and all. And then she just walked off like, yeah, she had full headphones on, like over the, over the ear headphones at the time. I'm just sitting there with my wee fucking sandwich in the car. I had um, mad experiences because I was, when the baby was coming, I was still doing gigs. Uh, yeah. Right up until the moment, if I could, because I'd booked in so much. We were told 6th of August. For you, the hospital. So I I worked out a system, I don't know if I told you this, doing the Fela gigs, we worked out a system where if my wife went into labour, it would take, we worked out how long it would take her to get to the door of the Ulster, then worked out how long it would take me to get from, Fela, if she got a lift, for me to get from Fela to the hospital and worked out that if I walked on stage to start my set, I'd be all right time-wise. Okay. And it was the most <coughs> mental feeling before you go, you know, you get nervous doing a show, doing headline the Fela, never done that before. But the relief of like walking out the stage, but every time I did a gig, I let the organizers know, I, I have to come in and out and like, mm. I need to leave straight away. I can't wait. I'm doing one of those fatal gigs. It was perfect. Got on stage, about to leave. I parked right outside this like fire exit that like kept me a space. Full shutter down, full security barrier. Someone came and got me and goes, here, I take you a wee shortcut. Took me through the beer garden where everybody who was at the gig was. Oh, great. And I had to just literally, I felt like, so, I'm sure if you, Angus being from here, were a bit more like modest or something or like, Scared to offend people. I was like, if anyone says, "Can I get a photo?" I'm gonna for the first time in my life, I'm gonna have to say no. And how do you do that? And I was walking back to the, the guy like gets me to near my car. I walked down an alleyway down the side of the Devonish, and there was like a sixty year old guy who goes, and I'll never know where this was gonna go. Who goes, I finally got you. And I just went, nope. Got into my car, drove away, and I don't know whether he wanted a selfie, a blowjob, <laughs> or to shoot me. <laughs> I think he's probably still there if I go back. I finally got you. I finally got you. And he was waiting. Maybe he just owns the venue or something. And he was like, <laughs> we finally got you booked <laughs> in. We finally we got, got the you. man on stage. But it was like, a, uh, God bless Mark McCartney, we were talking about. This is a good one. What? Just walk like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shunk, lock the doors. Straight off. Uh, Mark McCartney with a skill on as well I was like man I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to shoot pretty much straight away and like again country venue doing enough for you basically sent like a six man security team to like you know like jog alongside a president yeah. you know you see a president go for a run yeah. that was like me running in my car down in a skill on Main Street did you ever see the videos of the I think it was was it Biden or someone falling off a bike no that was great <laughs> it was like it was, it was just fucking I, I mean you yeah. probably do it yourself forget your clip then oh, Jesus Christ <laughs> But here, don't be, be in a wheelchair. But uh, <laughs> it was it Biden or so, someone was, but there, there was like f like photo or like videos of the Secret Service, right? And the guys just got two big fake arms. Have you seen that? It might have been fake, like, but 
just look like two big fake arms <laughs> and then an extra wide body because he's just got a fucking machine gun under a shirt underneath it. Oh. So he's like, oh, we're just walking along the street. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. And then... <laughs> They did that with someone, uh, I forget the fucking country, it was like someone from China visiting fucking Saudi Arabia or something, and they didn't tell them that they had like f- like this sort of traditional firecracker celebration, he gets <laughs> out of the car, like, burr, 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 and they're all just like, <laughs> <laughs> jumping in the fucking, through the window of the jeep and away, you know? That's the other, um, that's an example of people from here, oh, I, I, I'm so into that, I care about American politics. Nothing worse than when people from here weigh in. On social media and all the American politics, you know the big, fa- the big chunky Facebook post. Yeah. The way I see it, dot 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 the election, that kind of thing. Yeah. Shut up. Don't yeah. be, don't be caring about that. Not going to affect your life in any way. No. Not really. If you were in America, you'd have to just move out, fucking, to some ranch. Yeah. And just be away from everything. But then they do the thing we do here. People were saying with Brexit, if Brexit comes, I'm, I'm leaving. No one left. Nobody left. I'm, if they get in the power, I'd say, I'll be leaving. Can I ask you, can I ask you a question? You don't have to answer this if you want to. Do you vote? No. No, I, <laughs> no, I, don't, I think... Uh, you sit in the bath and I'll vote. Because, like... <laughs> yeah. Would you vote if you could in the bath and you wouldn't have to go uh, anywhere? Well, Just it's the button. same as anything. I made that point about blood donation. I was like, do they do home visits? Yeah. Come to, <laughs> come to me. I'll just have a towel beside the bath, dry my hands. <laughs> now that would freak a robber out if they came in, you were just all hooked up. The problem is, anyone wee bi- wee anyone that's like, leaning towards that sort of career is a mentalist. Yeah. It should be someone that like, it should be like, you know, like jury service or something. You just like, you pick people tell you that you have to be part of a little thing for a while. And you're like, for fuck's yeah. sake. And then someone will be smart in there. Do you want to crack me up? And I'll get shit for this. <laughs> It scratched me up about that subject. My granddad died so you could vote. He didn't. They he all didn't. die. My my What did he die of? My granddad fought in World War Two, right? He didn't go to war so that in twenty twenty three I could vote. I'm pretty sure he was like, These Nazis are bad bastards. Let me take a few down. <sighs> God. You yeah, don't have to you But don't there's something about being a comedian where you wanna you kinda wanna <laughs> stay you don't want any strong opinions on anything. Yeah. You want to just be able to make fun of everything, so you kind of like just exactly. sit on the fence. Do you know what? That was the best thing about doing the fila. When I was doing the fila, I thought I want to be a wee bit cheeky here, and I don't. What the last thing I want to do is pander. Yeah. You know, I you could go in there and West Belfast. Oh, what about this? What about that? And I love it. Yeah. And I was like, let me see how far I can push it. And and I've been told over the years, you got to be careful at that one. Be careful what you say; they'll get offended. They couldn't have laughed at themselves more. Mm. So when I did a bit about the Wolf Tones and DUP. My kind of punchline at the end of it was, um, if I was on the shankle, I'd be saying the opposite. Mm-hmm. I'd be saying this about yous. And then on the second night, I said, uh, I said, if the DUP keep this up, they'll lose my vote. And yeah. they loved that more. Yeah. You know, they were like, that's fucking fair play to have the balls to say that. Yeah. And like loved hearing that back. So I don't know the whole, I, I had that clip and I was, I put it up and I was like, this is going to get horrific comments. Not to me, just I hate the idea of putting up a comedy clip and under it it's, well, actually, uh, and it's a political point. So I put it up, yeah. deleted it straight away. And I was like, no, nah, I'll just put it up. Yeah, I just don't want that, a debate under it. Yeah, I totally. prefer you I prefer you say you didn't, this is shit or this is good, that's it. Don't don't start a, a thread. I despair at seeing a thread and going, but there is a lot of, I, like, I had a clip the other week, me and Aaron talking about IBS. Yeah. And people were like, yeah, it's no laughing matter, let me tell you. I've got photographic evidence to show you it's no <laughs> crack at all. <laughs> And you're like, I know it's real, you fucking idiot. Yeah. We're just having a laugh. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all like, <laughs> what's this statement? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> what's this statement he's making? Uh, but uh, do they know you don't vote up there in the West? That I don't vote? Yeah. I don't know. I finally got you. I don't, I just don't. <laughs> Take one of these. It's a belated vote. I don't know. I just. The mice in my head told me. <laughs> <laughs> you know the way they go. You know the way they go. If you don't vote, you can't have a say. Yeah. You can't. You just like you just didn't vote. I don't have a say either. You just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. I don't know what I'm voting for. Like you just do, you just do for. kind of most things you want to do. What? I don't know what I'm voting for. That's why I don't vote. I'm not prepared to look into it enough. I'm not prepared to listen to Nolan and the debate shows and all that. That just wrecks your day. <sighs> it's a, it's just this country. The, the, t- the two types are like, you know, like cleaned up smack moving into like 
you know, sort of hardcore <laughs> Presbyterian DUP, you know, like the gays, not you know, like you know what I mean? It's like yeah, but, but secretly, it's like, either, it's either like, like the gays. Yeah, yeah, well, it's it's always like that. Yeah. That's an absolute fucking abomination. <laughs> always from up there. Fucking but abomination, then, these fucking gays. But then the other side have to pretend to be well into it, and you know they're they're like they might not yeah. care, but they're not that into it. They're a but pride. That's the cleaned up smack. Yeah, that's a cleaned up smack. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're here down a pride today. Uh, shirt tie glittery way fronts no bottoms <laughs> and we're loving it to be honest we're really loving it now yeah they have to both pick the extreme sides yeah whereas they're both probably pretty much in the middle about it yeah you know I just want the guys like I live your life do whatever you want but they're no, either that'll like, never happen but That's Sinn Féin are like down a criminal oh like, yes <laughs> do you think you would, I think, do you think it would do well if you ran for something I, I had a thought I was like maybe I'll write this as a thing and then I didn't if there was um, or maybe it's been done if there was a party or a politician who just had like the yes no party or a yes no policy and the only way they answer questions in like a debate was either yes or no mm. that's it even, even if it's to their own like detriment you know what do you think about the, do you believe in that and you're like nope because it's the it's the thing of when what you're are your asked, thoughts on trans rights yes yes <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes you have oh yes <laughs> oh, yeah. just for secret ones but I don't know it, it's anytime I watch anything it's that thing that they get asked a direct question it's like well, the matter. Is, that's why. That's why I don't vote because I I can't connect from what I've seen to anybody that I watch, and I don't like the idea. If you're part of a party, you can't have your own opinion. You've got to subscribe to the party sure, what opinion. Do you, what do you call a Labour guy? The fuck, make something. Huck no. Yeah. We call it boys nine days. <laughs> I think it was Mick Huck. No, actually, <laughs> think about it. Nobody call a fucking bald dude was like had a mm. fucking huh. Mick Lynch. Mick Lynch. Aye. He sounds like someone we'd have gigged with years ago. But he, Mick Lynch. Aye. Mick Lynch has you up to Fermanagh. Aye, <laughs> and then he was inappropriate to a bar, member of the bar staff, and he hadn't gigged in a while. Like. But, uh, you know, he's a fairly straight-talking, sensible guy, and everyone turned on him. Yeah. We don't answer questions. Yeah. Clearly. But then, and then the ones that, yeah, and bald, again. He he's bald, you see, he looks evil. Yeah. I know, that's why you're wearing hat. Yeah. I know. But I have two small ginger dreadlocks, <laughs> but I just keep them head away. <laughs> Imagine that Lavery's one night just before I went on stage, you showed me that and you went, please, don't say it to anyone. <laughs> like you're you sick of a boxer? Yeah. I should have that. Just fucking I think that's why he won the fight. I think Anthony we, Joshua was like, the fuck is this? Is that a cat shit in your head, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? I am very feel. <laughs> what about Anthony Joshua's speech after the know. fight? <laughs> yeah. I said, that's like me to Maureen every day. <laughs> like, why are you eating two of those? I'm 18 stone, bruv. <laughs> I don't know, but I then I, if I was eighteen stone, I'd be shredded, bro. Then all the all the the, 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 the walk, <laughs> all the politicians, <laughs> Dwayne the Walk Johnson, <laughs> walk this way. The ones that they all laugh at and they're like the most cringe, the worst ones. Rishi Sunak, yeah, uh, and Brian Partridge. Who's the Who's the lady? Liz Truss. Liz Truss. They're like they're the ones that they make fun of them, and they're the ones that are going to get in. But like Boris Johnson was the one that could get in. So the the way you succeed is just all to lobbying, be bro. You know what I mean? They're fucking greasing each other's pans all over the place. Yeah. You know where, where's the weirdest place I could put my leg? Oh, behind your head. You're you're surprised. You're nimble. You're a nimble guy. I'm a panda. Yeah. What? I mean, I'm I'm loose. I'm a loose bear. Yeah. <laughs> the I'm loose a Chinese bear. bear. <laughs> um. What else? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, and be honest. If you were on death row, <laughs> records one meal. <laughs> yeah, you get one meal. Yeah. What are you having? Does it matter? Yep. Because I've seen a video. You would you would four. You mean you you'd be like oh I don't. Well, I've seen a video of a guy like uh, in some shithole. I think it was like South America or something. He's on death row and they they give him his last meal. And he was trying to eat rice with his hands like this. <laughs> so he was absolutely breaking it. So I don't know how much I'm I'm gonna enjoy. Like a five don't guys, pick, don't pick rice. <laughs> but that's what happened. But that's what happened. He got jelly for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just trying to eat a twister lolly. <laughs> but it's like do that, but slower. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> slow it down. What are you shooting at? Uh, but like, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. fucking. It, it, I don't think it matters. Like, yeah. I asked them, um, Aaron McCann, this, so I'm going to ask you, do you think that uh, if you were hooked up to a machine that tested your level of arousal, yeah, do you think that if I was here, like, 
churning butter mm-hmm. or something like that, do you think it would peak even one percent? Just subconsciously, no. like no, no, but one percent without you, like without you knowing. What if I? What if I was raining? Anything you think it would peak? Just a, just the tiniest bit. Definitely, I think it might have probably to. not. And it, if I watch I'm you pushing that car, I think I'd hit a root. I'll, sh- I'll send it to you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not really. Not no. Probably not. And that's yeah. not being all like I'm all macho and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. But I let it's literally it's just like, not what you're into. Yeah, um, yeah, not at all. But then uh, you know, is it the butter that's creeping you? Not would give me a root. Yeah, <laughs> butter. You know, <laughs> just the thought of it. <laughs> um, when you're doing SSE, does your will I be turning butter? <laughs> does your night? <laughs> I love. I love that. That would be a phrase. Get We're churning sh- butter. Churning a bit of butter. Turn a bit of butter. Couldn't get a fucking glass of water to fucking save his life. Churning water. You wish. Drinking butter out the back. When you're using a glass of butter on stage. Anyway, what else? I watched. Um, I watched your special. I was there at, at at the night you did last year, and then I watched it, and the nothing has made me laugh more, despite being in like a awkward situation than when. The security guy that came to throw the people out from the front row. Oh, you watched that one? Yeah. Okay. And when the guy what when the security guy kind of walked past, and then what was you, what was it you said? Was it sure do less or did you say? something like that? It was absolutely unbelievable. I could, like three people in the front row, very obviously them. Yeah. It's those guys. It's those three guys. And the Ev- guys everybody like, is pointing these people out. Yeah. To the security that you're paying for. So it's like. There, it's these guys. Out of three thousand people, there's three people here. Yeah, just uh, too much to drink. Whatever else, they're racking it. Yeah. So can we get the these people? Yeah. One, out? two, three. They're End in the, of the front row. row. It's lit. The row's three lit. Smex. Yeah. One, two, three. Not these. They're ladies. waving at you. They're they're pointing yeah. at themselves. It's us, awesome. mate. They yeah. kicked out, and a security guy walked past. Did this like the wrong fella like 10 like 10 rows away and you watch it happen and you just went something like sure mate do less and uh <laughs> and <laughs> laugh oh i love that so much <laughs> i know i think i was joking around like you you know i could be just getting live stabbed yeah and he's like what seems to be a problem and like, shing, shing, shing. well this <laughs> I hate to have to do that, but you're just like at a certain point, you're like people. There is a lot of people here paying. Yeah. in here. And yeah, you're just yeah, like, yeah, Just fuck off. Like, do you? Um, I've been thinking about this. So I was listening to some recently, and it's like, oh, you have to be present. You have to be more present in life. And I, I, as you, uh, this won't shock you or anyone else. I'm not a deep thinker. What at all? I'm uh, uh, not at all. Up all night going would get us get a hard on. <laughs> If I brought, if theoretically if, I was churning butter, what if I bring a leader to carry me at the Lavery's backstage? Um, I don't think I do take things in, as in, in the moment. You do, yeah, do waterfront or SSE or whatever it is. I drive, I drive home like, oh, that was class, but that's it. You know, I, I never be somewhere going. Oh, I don't really get like buzzing, <sighs> apart from when I'm watching Jerry Nesbitt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you dirty bitch! But I don't, I don't get like buzzing. Yes, because I I like expect it to be brilliant, right? And then I'm just like, Phew. it's thank so God it's that went relief. Well. But I I don't think I'm I actually don't think I'm present. But I don't think that's a problem because I enjoy just what I do and all about that. Life. I just I float about, just float about. But I don't think I take it in. And I think it's one of those things. If you actually wrote down what you've done in the last five ten years, mm-hmm. you couldn't believe it. Or oh, if you yeah. showed it to yourself in the past. But then you'd be freaked out if it was you showing it to you in the party. You'd be like, what are you? That's me. What's crazy? Yeah, the yeah. journey is wild. It is. You got to stop and smell the coffee or whatever the saying is. Mm-hmm. But I do too much. I do but too do many you? things. Like, As too, in, too much shit. Like, you start off with like four things and then you try and like grow them over time. And then all of a sudden you're just absolutely consumed by. So, the re- so it is actually the relief after it. Yeah. And it's always as well, I suppose. It's like on to the next one. Oh yeah, and that's not even in. I don't even think that's a a big headed thing or an arrogant thing. It's more. It's like almost a survival instinct of like, well, I can't just sit and celebrate this thing that I've done because. Well, it's it's I've a bit. A, it's it's like if you were a sports person, you don't like. 
get an achievement and go, whew, that's me done for fucking yeah. the rest of my life. Yeah. You kind of go back to it, like, because yeah. there's another one coming up and another one coming up. Yeah. And you'll probably stop at some point, like. Yeah. I'd love to stop stand up. Would you? I don't think you would. I'd like the option. And then I'd probably be like, ah, you're all welcome. Yeah. I'll do a wee turn. Yeah. But I think it's just the. Do you ever think forward and be like, do I want to be turning up live to things forever? But you do. I'm getting into NFTs, is what I'm saying. Uh, because. <laughs> Because you do so much lavries. Yeah. You're doing what? Eight lavries a month? Sometimes maybe, ten. Maybe ten. What way the weeks fall, yeah. Like a leap year. Because you're doing Wednesday. Th- like some, some months have like, I'll be organising ten gigs like. 30 days of September. Imagine. So. November. Um, that is a l- actually a lot where you're, and you like me live quite far away from Belfast so you're so much travel for stand up. Yeah. So many shows. Yeah. And that probably fatigues you a bit more with oh, it. Oh it does, yeah. Or something. So we joked about that before. My first luxury thing would be a driver. Yeah. Just have someone pick me up in a van. I always think about the Lincoln lawyer. You seen that? No. McConaughey? No. He wor- he has a driver and then he has like a bit of an office in the back That's of his what you would do. car and he works. I'd get too comfortable with a guy. Though. Yeah, we did we you want you wanted a Portuguese driver. Yeah. To call you Mr. Colin. Well yeah, but I, I, would, I would like I would probably like, have you seen Elvis, the movie? Not yet. So, whenever he was like, I hate to spoil it for you, but he was like, his manager he s- signed a contract where he was like locked into playing this casino. In, for, in Vegas? Forever, basically. Because he never played outside of the state. No. Once, Canada or Hawaii? Or Hawaii, yeah. Which is, you know what I mean. That's but, it. Um, he, he, Elvis was getting that sort of way. Where I would do it too. We were like, I'm playing here every fucking night. I want all my fucking... He had Cokes everywhere. You know what I mean? He was Sex probably, in, he was probably in his slippers. It was probably everything was probably just within arm's reach because yeah. he's there every fucking night. But I'd be like out with the driver. But was like, he? Jose, I'm gonna have a wank here. Yeah. <laughs> P- pull the shutter down. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have a wank here. You're gonna want to see this. Put it down. He turns the fucking rear view mirror. <laughs> oh, very impressive. Legs behind your head. <laughs> very thick load today, Colin. <laughs> you have a busy week. You have a busy week. I don't know. I think I think when we talked about it last time. I okay, hop in the back here. I'm knackered. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> think, or shame with a butter. I think. <laughs> I think uh, you you would be more comfortable with the driver than I would. I don't think I could. I I am at the point. I I don't know if it's got worse over time. If I go to a venue, I'm on it, and there's only one way in, mm. and there's people queuing. I can I can't just skip in. Can't do it. I'll wait. Past people? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It, t- it takes a bit of the showbiz edge off it, like. I, I, in my head, I'm just like... It's the toilets fuck me off. You know when you go somewhere and they're like, toilets are just around there, and yep. it's full of people from the gig, like. Yep. When you go in there taking a piss at the... And then you got to wait ages till someone Our comes in. a bit like that, that city hotel. Yes. You know, like, I need the toilet. And there's like, oh, there's a wedding on there. If you go through go through that wedding, you can piss at the back of the room. I did a, I did a way in banger in a bush. Mm. Open House Festival. Mm. Sorry if that gets me fucking cancelled or whatever. But uh, but yeah, I would have loved to have done that again this year. But there was no interest in or no one t- contacted well, me about it. There must have been less spots or something because I did two last time and then I did one this time. I was like, oh, let's do more, and they were like, no, you can't. No, you can't. So I don't know what. But wonder that is. I wonder did it say anything? Phenomenal. Rough. It's great. Like it, yeah. So good. It, I was shocked at how many people were there. Because I thought it was just like some wee tent or something, and I walked in, I was like, holy fuck. And the stage looks incredible as well. Mm. You've done stuff like that where you go from the outside, it's in a nice place, yeah. but it's not ran that well. Yeah. Everything about it was perfect. And that backstage area, it's like you're a medieval king about to go into Yeah, there's a, there's a toilet problem in there too. No wonder yeah. you pissed in a bush. Oh no, by the way, I found this out after I did away in a bush. You've got your own portal now. Fantastic. You can share with the volunteers. Yeah, they'll never, not they, the Ulster. They'll not, have me, they'll not have me. They'll not have me back. Like, but uh, and we got it. we got the uh, Uber. I was freaking out. I, I'm not a, like an Uber Eats guy. You, you know got these. What? You know these like Uber Eats guys. These like just eats what guys. What did you say before that? Though? Huh? What was the food? What you Yo say? burger. Yo burger. Okay. So I I arrived down in good time, and I was trying to do Uber Eats and just eat. No, and I'm not. You know. You know. I'm not good at all that kind of stuff and it wasn't working I'm freaking out I'm looking at my watch I don't want to eat just for go on all this all that anyway Yo Burger and Banger so in the, I think there's one in Banger one in Belfast 10 out of 10 mm-hmm. beautiful you had it? are you back on the red are you? back on the red meat? 
Oh, I thought you meant sauce. I was like, I've always been on it. Mm. Uh, y- uh, yes, occasionally. Okay. I'm not going to rinse it, but every now and again, yes. That's but it was idea. it was incredible. Really, really good. Like a smash burger type thing? Squash it all down? Yep. Yep. Confirmed. 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 And it was lovely just sitting there, Johnny and... Who? who oh cool. Johnny and Willie T. It's lovely just sitting in that area having a burger and just Great. hearing them go on and kill. So good. Oh. Everybody, see at the minute, Pissing everybody's on form. Hand. Every, <laughs> the dream. <laughs> in a bush. Everybody's on form at the minute. Do you feel like that? There's a lot of good comedians. Everything. Because I know everyone for the last few years, all oh, the scene is this and, and it has obviously been so good. But actually, this right now might be the time where everybody's firing. Yeah. Or maybe it just always feels like that, but I just feel now. Everyone's getting dead slick. Yep. You know. Yep. There's people like, you know, I'm able to do it myself a wee bit, but like people are, there's no such thing as like trying new bits. People, like if, I just keep seeing people like, oh, I have a new bit and they go do it and it kills and you're like, oh, it's a new bit now. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's no like, no one's working it out. Yes. Yeah. Well, he fucking wrote about four bits while he was at uh, Edinburgh. And right. It, and he just sharpened up over like 10 days. Yeah, I love seeing that as well. Yeah. You know, someone Great. just tweak, tweak a bit every now and again. Johnny with his one-liners always kind of yeah does that. And I, I love just when you're in that backstage environment and you hear maybe someone tell a joke and you go here you could what about trying this and then they're saying it to you too you know well that's great like yeah love like that McCann literally had notes on his phone right. the other day on stage no while i was on he was taking oh, notes on okay, mine okay yeah yeah because you know. kieran did that for me at one of my previews just watched mm. sent me a list after of things what about a menu for and, and it's, <laughs> it just said chicken and waffles i was like i, I don't mention that in my set but it's stuff it was just the tiniest tweaks and it helps so much. Does he order, does he say chaffles when he's in there? Yes. Does he? He's made it a thing. Uh, he's made it a thing. Yeah. You think you couldn't be comfortable? I, I, I'd be like you in that sense if, if I'm picking this up right. I couldn't say chaffles. Uh, if I go into yeah. if I go in somewhere and they have a quirky menu. Oh, like do you ever order a cocktail and it's like fucking. Can I have the hand job in the boot? The chunky geisha. Yeah. That's I'll really take that. That's my other name. <laughs> <laughs> name of the podcast. I'm the, lo- I'm the loose bear. I'm the chunky <laughs> geisha. <laughs> that, that'd that be so cultural approach. No, that's our that's our that's our series. That was me pushing that car with those Chinese ones yesterday. <laughs> ah, chunky geisha. It would have been quicker for me to lift the car. It was like a wee t- it was like a wee small car. I remember we used to play headers and volleys in the street and uh, it was always in front of the one hedge and my mate Stevie's house and the move, his dad's car, a metro, a red metro, oh, yeah. was always parked right yep. outside and the boys used to just lift it. Absolutely. Just lift it and slide it on down the street. Where do I get stuck if I paint them my face white and come in with the fucking chopsticks in my hair and the kimono? As to, the chunky to do geisha. What? geisha. Geisha. To do what? Chat. Just as a look, like Halloween or something. Uh, Just sit here. Well, that we, you know the wee guitar with like one string? Dun, dun, dun. I don't <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Now, if people rob your house, that's what I want them to come in and see. Bo- boba tea with me. Imagine if you had a... Imagine if you um, if someone broke into your house. You know what people are like, I keep a baseball pad under my bed or something like that. You know what the move is? Clown mask. Yeah. And what you do is... Naked out of the bath. You stand at the top of the stairs, and when they break in, you just laugh at the top of the stairs hysterically. Yeah. We housebreaker and run out. You shit yourself with then keep coming up the stairs because you just you just get your fuck knocked in the clown outfit. I bought a thing for security for the house. You'll appreciate this, like one of these fucking marine style, like looks like a flashlight. Flashlight. And then, and then you turn it on, and it's like a fucking, you know, it's like a fucking full beam on a car. That's what you do, bro. So like it would blind. You get it. naked. You hear someone in the hallway. You yeah. want the door open. Ding! It's like a lighthouse, you know, and then you start throwing shoes at them from behind the light, and they're like, Fuck. "Remember the guy did that to George Bush?" Yeah, at a press conference. Bastard! Yeah. <laughs> but nowadays, with an Air, an Air Jordan's gonna he fucking take he went you full out. Mayweather on it. Do you remember that? I was like, <laughs> Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Got gotcha, you, bitch. <laughs> that was a low key decent Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that before. I'm gonna piss in it. Um, That's a low key decent Bush, love. <laughs> Can't tell from outside, but when you get all in there, low key dice. Lavery's is back. I'm gonna be there. On w- I'm gonna be there tonight when this comes out. Not tonight. Tonight. Next week. Yeah, this comes out next Wednesday, so I'll be there. 
Nice. Tonight. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I'm buzzing to get back. I can't wait for tonight. There's a there's an atmosphere when you walk in. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You you don't really need to worry. You got to be on your toes like every gig. But when you walk in, it's all the only thing that can go wrong is you don't perf- perform a great set. But you don't need to worry about the sound, about the lights, about the audience, about the other acts on. It's all it's all deliberate. It's all good. All the vibes, all those wee intro tunes. I love it. Sound, backstage area, mm-hmm. free drinks, monitor. Yep. You know. Yep. Ready to go. Remember, we should. We've got aircon now, which is unbelievable. Remember, we um, we used to go and get wee coffees and woodworkers. We should start doing that again. Yeah, I like that wee tradition we did. Because there is a machine in the room, but it's fun to do the. You feel like you're going out somewhere, yep. and coming back, and they get wee cups. Yeah, that's true. I like wee cups. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. I mean, like some of the some of the nights out the back recently, very funny. Yeah, you know, I like that. Kieran's there with the guitar, start playing. What do you call it, on Creed or something? Oh, I always and make. I, so that was another one of those moments where like nerds make me feel left out. Like they start saying Creed. I don't know any. Is Creed it Creed? Song. Is that the band? Start saying Creed, and they're all like like doing all the words. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, shit? I don't know any Creed songs. And they're all word for word, like the whole song. Are you fucking? Do you know what the one I, What is this shit? The best one to make them sing is. Do you remember this song that went? And it wasn't a big. If you say nightmare song, leave. It was by. <laughs> it was by Stushy. And it used to go like this, right? And be serious. It used to go like this. And don't. I'm just trying to let you know what yeah. it sounds like, right? It used to go like this. Daddy, you're falling for a monster. Yeah, I remember that. He's big and... I know, but I'll keep singing. He's big and he's bad. I love him. Get Kieran to sing that. Okay. Beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. What was... You have good fun with Kieran at the Fringe? Did, actually, yeah. You know, we fucking uh, had some long chats, you know what yeah. I mean? Come back to the flat, sit there. Have chats, man. Was did he good? get? Uh, and I'll, he's coming and do live stream later, so I'll ask him probably. But they, did he get himself any situation? We heard mate. There was just a few days where it was like forty-two degrees, right? And uh, you know the street our gig was on was like this, and he was just like fuck, carrying a sixteen stone fuck, guitar, fuck. <laughs> but everyone was like fuck that. But uh, no, not really. It's a great place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Enjoy who's yourself? Nice scenes. For who's him. on? Tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, what, Thursday, lobbies. I was gonna say was what was surprising me was uh, him and him and Chloe's interest in like architecture. You know, they'd be in a, we'd be in an Uber and they'd be like, "That's a lovely building, there, love, isn't it?" See, I would do my head. Stunning. I would do my stunning head in some shock. Gothic, very gothic. See people talking about buildings and all. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Shut up. See when people go, "Oh, I see nowadays with design, they're making lampposts and all, just like standard metal chrome lamp, and there's no detailing in it." Fuck up. I don't care about detailing. Oh, they're losing a sense of this. Nobody's, not that many people care about it, otherwise it wouldn't be happening. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So don't worry about Until it. Until you see a good one. No. And they're like, fuck me, that was nice. Well, sometimes you like it in Belfast when they have the wee seahorses and all. There is that street uh, in East Belfast where it has like the original like 100 year old fucking lampposts. Because Maureen sister used to live on it, and they'd shoot on it. They'd shoot like get my headpiece and ah. stuff on it because it just it hasn't changed at all. Uh, and that is nice. I wonder like, is that D Street? No, no, it's like Master something like ma- something like that Master uh, like Master Street or something. And we we're living in those because there are those areas of Belfast where they shoot everything. Yeah, and you go they film everything. Or be weird just every week. I mean, it'd be a hassle. Like, yeah. but just what are they going to shoot this week? Yeah. Who are you going to see? One week it's Pierce Brosnan, and the next it's who, the guy is the Uncle Andy. Nesbit. Yeah. Or damn fucking lampposts. <laughs> or just someone stole my lampposts. Oh, nice, but... Get them on here. You can show you, oh, you can show you don't you open a can of worms. What? Had an, n- he's an eel. <laughs> he's an eel. I've had him in my hands, uh, but I can't keep him here. Yeah. He's flopping in, he's flopping out. I, re- I jump back in to try and get a dive to the bottom. I dive to the bottom of the ocean for him, Colin. Yes. I to wrangle him, but I can't wrangle Nez, but... Does he live here? Some he's here sometimes. Go and ahead. meet him in a meet him in a fucking new, meet him in a hotel like function room or something. I'll do a podcast with him in Chernobyl. Wuhan. Unnecessary. I don't care where it is. No, very <laughs> necessary to only talk to him about the Chernobyl disaster. I I do it anywhere with Nesbitt, and I've been so with that girl. Um, and I've we've had a back and forth. We've we've got an exchange. There's been WhatsApp messages. Yeah. Sometimes I have them, and then just like that. He's got like the like the Put bad guy. One of his just things. Have everyone I've done it. I've, I've not bombard stopped Nesbitt. doing appeals. It's like Red Nose Day. Kidnap, Jimmy, kidnap someone he knows. He'll he'll go full <laughs> fucking. 
I want him Don't to do come that, on. By the way, be after me. Now. Want, we'll get him a pint. Fuck. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know what more I can do. If it was fucking uh, pints with me. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be here in the morning. Just open the window and let it, let it like a pie, yeah. like a pie in a cartoon. <laughs> the eyebrows tremendous. You ever put a pie in a window sill? Pardon me. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest Colin Geddes, Lavery's Comedy Club is back. It's on tonight. If you're listening to this, and that came out tomorrow night, Wednesday and Thursday. New layout, right yeah. or wrong? They got the big uh, pillar taken out, so it's I a, did it. It's, it's a perfect, right? You know, semi-circular venue now. I, I did the work. The laughs, Shane. Yep. Amplified. Ching, 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 ching. You know what I mean? Your noise is better. <laughs> yeah. Lavery's Comedy Club. Let me do promo. Ching, 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 ching. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's perfect. Aircon. Great sound. Yes. Great playlist. Yes. Great comedians. I can't wait to get back and just just breathe it all in. The last one I did was my most favourite ever. It was just a night where you, me, McCarney, Mickey, can't remember who else was on, and I'd been somewhere else and then just came and did it. Maybe I was at op- uh, Opera House and then came over and did it and it was just perfect. You get those nights where you could do whatever you wanted? Yep. Like you wouldn't even have to... Like I used to, you know, like if it was MCing at the start, maybe write a couple of bits down and be like, well, I'll do these if mm-hmm. it falls a bit flat. You could do fucking 45 minutes of crowd work. Absolutely. It's just, it's great. Yep. Um, what date's SSC? 28th of October. 28th I'm of all, October. And it's one night. I think a lot of people are thinking, he's stuck another one on. Right. It's one fucking night. Bring, bring your, bring your laughing hats. Bring the guy some water. For God's sake, that's all he wants. Just leave some water with security, tell them to take it backstage, get you hydrated. It's going to be a nice time. One night, SSE Arena, Belfast, butter. Shall we do the noise again? Yep. <laughs> Links in the description. Oh, why? Cheers, guys. Links in the description. Thanks for the cup. Look, oh, also, merch links in the description as well. What, nobody wants it? We're not selling well? Yeah. We're no, we are not selling well. Oh, his merch? Congas.com yeah. for... That's not my... My merch is not on Congas.com. <laughs> we're not selling well. Why, why are we not selling well, Dan? We need a photo shoot. We're going to do a photo shoot today? Yeah, yeah, we're going to do a photo shoot today. It's about presents, man. I didn't know I didn't know you had the uh, merch. Wait, but we just just launched it. We just launched it. What does it say? Tea with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not... Mike, Mike throw, th- Tony, throw me some over. And it doesn't sell, you say? Throw me some over. It is not shifting. Yeah. And the black one. I prefer the black one. I prefer How, the what's black. that printed on with? That S- is printed on. Dan has hand drawn these. <laughs> <laughs> He's airbrushed every last one of them. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I, th- I think that's very sexy. Oh, that, do you know what? What's on the back? Nothing. What? J- what? Is it just that? <laughs> There'll be something. There will be something, no, the but that's get that's nice. That's yeah. that's stealth. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's subtle. Yep. It's not in your face. I like that a lot. The other one literally has your face on it. Yep. Which is not a great idea usually, but the black one is good. <laughs> not your face specifically. Yeah, yeah. Anyone's face. Yeah. Would you wear a t-shirt with my face on it? Hundred percent. Just your face, and nothing else. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'll make it happen. The link for everything is in everything and anything's in the description. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Shame for down. Tell me you need to do something else. That's all good. You just want to go for lunch? You just want to go for lunch? You come for lunch? You come for a quick lunch? Yeah. You do a quick lunch? Yeah. Okay. Chaffles? You have to say, I want you to say, when they say, what do you want? I want you to say, oh, give me some yummy, yummy chaffles. I'll be like, chaffles? <laughs> but actually just like eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks very much. On to the next one. Thanks for having me, guys. Mm-hmm.